Hello everyone, in today's lesson, we're going to look at three ways in which we can create a one-point perspective drawing. One-point perspective technique in art uses math to create an illusion of 3D on a 2D surface. 2D or two-dimensional mean that it is flat having height and width. Begin by drawing a horizontal line that goes from right to left in the center of your paper. This helps to separate the sky from the land. Draw a square or rectangle toward the bottom of your paper. For today's lesson, we will need to use a few essential materials such as a ruler, a pencil, and an eraser. Now, in order for this project to look 3D or three-dimensional, you will need to draw lines from the edge of your square or rectangle connected to your vanishing point. Your vanishing point is a dot directly in the center of your horizon line. Your vanishing point is the most important part of a one-point perspective drawing because it makes your artwork look as though it is three-dimensional. 3D or three-dimensional, on the other hand, mean that it is something that has height, width, and depth. Depth is the size of the object that makes things look 3D or pops out. In some ways, you can walk around it, such as a table or chair.
In our second example, begin the same way as you did with the first example by drawing a horizontal line and putting a vanishing point in the middle. Write your name in bubble letters above or below your horizon line. If you do not know how to create bubble letters, simply write your name and make it a bit thicker. Use Sharpie markers to outline your letters and background before applying color to your artwork. When you are done, connect the edges of your letter at the top and bottom to your vanishing point.
Again, in our final example, begin as you did in the previous examples by drawing a horizontal line and placing a vanishing point in the middle. Use your creativity to create interesting buildings and add details to your environment to make it seem alive. Like in our previous examples, outline your artwork using a Sharpie marker or color pencils. Erase all of the pencil lines 